please go subscribe to the Rumble channel for Franchise Sports TV under the name FSTV22. Now, I'm using that Rumble channel for any purposes of me getting kicked off YouTube and also for more of my spicier joints. It's free as well. I have the freedom to say whatever I want to say as well. So go subscribe to FSTV22. That is Franchise Sports TV 22 on Rumble. Good morning. Good morning, Franchise Nation. Good morning to you all. Last night, I should say yesterday in total, uh, there was a lot of slate of games. Yeah, the Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, I'm sorry for getting tongue twisted so early in the morning. But, well, it was. But you had the Memphis Grizzlies, a 1 in 18, finally getting their second win against those pesky, cursed Los Angeles Clippers. And then the media, as soon as I get on ESPN, the first thing I see is, well, the Lakers, the Lakers, the Lakers, the Lakers, the Lakers, the Lakers. What about them Lakers? It's like they beat the Portland Trailblazers, a young ass team. Anthony Davis should have beat by himself the Portland Trailblazers. Why is this such a fascination with ESPN? Or better yet, Lee ESPN. La media. Speaking of La media, they just won't talk about certain star players anymore. They're very quiet about certain star players. One mean Anthony Edwards. He's been tearing up the league since the season has started. Wait, didn't they beat the Golden State Warriors last night? Did Anthony Edwards tell? Draymond Donkey Green to shut his ass up last night? Put him in his place? Oh, they won't talk about that because, for one, Mr. Donkey Man himself is a clutch client. So they ain't going to talk about him. They ain't going to talk about that at all. No, 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 no. We can't talk about that. Mm -mm. Don't talk about Anthony Edwards, the brilliance of one Anthony Edwards. No. But they also are not talking about the brilliance of one Shea Gildress. Alexander and those up and coming OKC Thunder who put a foot on neck performance on the super team of the Phoenix Suns, the no defense Phoenix Suns. OKC goes to six and four. Phoenix goes to four and six on the season. Ooh, yikes. But they don't have Devin Booker. But he also didn't have Bradley Bill. Well, Bradley Bill's back. He's back. He looks young out there. But this is what I kind of was already expecting from the Phoenix Suns. A no defense happening team. Sort of like the Lakers and the Bucks. But anyways. The OKC Thunder won last night. 111 to 99. Chet Holgram, 18 points. Five for ten. Let me get all the stats right quick. We ain't gonna do all, all half the stats. Jalen Williams, thirty-one points. Shea Gilgis Alexander, thirty-five points. Thirteen for twenty-two. Two from five from three. Seven from eight from the line. Seven rebounds, four assists, one steal, one block. And only one turnover. Thirty-five points. I think in the previous week, I think Shea is averaging twenty-nine to twenty-eight points a game. Like. He's like eighth in the league, but they ain't getting talked about. No, we ain't going to talk about him. He went against LeBron by saying he don't think LeBron is as good as everybody thought he is or thinks he is. Josh Giddy, 10 points, 10 assists, 6 rebounds. He went 5 for 12. Dort, 9 points, 3 for 10. Ooh, he had a bad shooting day. Coming off the bench, uh, some of these people I don't know. The bench production for OKC. Uh, ooh, ow, e, ooh, ow. Uh, the bench combination for the bench uh scoring was eight points. Their bench scoring was eight points for OKC. Most of the points they come with the starters. We had two people that scored over thirty points last night. Um, the Phoenix, oh, not the Phoenix Suns, the OKC Thunder shot. 37% from the field. 
three-point line, 48% from the field, and they still won. As for the Phoenix Suns, Kevin Durant, 28 points, 7 for 18. Mm. There you go, 11 for 11 from the free throw line as well. Nine rebounds and four assists and two blocks. Three turnovers, Josh Okogie, eight points. Yusuf Nurkic, three. That's not enough production on your center. Bradley Bill, 15 points in 30 minutes, six for 17. He was crappy from three point. Three for six from the free throw line, ooh. Yikes. Grayson Allen does what Grayson Allen does, seven points. Two for eight, one for three from the three-point line. Two for eight from the field. Disgusting stats. Now, the Phoenix Suns did get more production out of their bench than what the OKC Thunder did. Devin Eubanks had 15. Uh, Wananabe had six points. Base Dope, I think that's how you pronounce his name, had six points. And Josh, is that Josh Goodwin or Justin Goodwin? I forgot his name. I forgot some of these dudes' names. Jordan Goodwin. I never, I don't even know who he is, but he averaged seven points a game this season. But Jordan Goodwin had uh, 11 points off the bench in 29 minutes, but he went four for 10. And uh, the Suns shot 38% from the field, 31% from three-point. Ooh, just ugly-ass numbers for the Phoenix Suns. Mm, 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 mm. Yikes, 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 And this game was, oh, this game was in Phoenix. I thought it was an OKC. Damn it. If I would have known, I should have went to that game. But anyways, it's not a good start for the Phoenix Suns. You can just scream and cry that they don't have Devin Booker all you want. It ain't going to make a difference if Devin Booker can't play defense on uh, Shea Gilchrist Alexander putting 40 on his head. It ain't going to make no difference. Suns got some issues, like I already said before, when I did the video about them losing to San Antonio twice in one week. They got some issues. They got some defensive issues. They got some people need to step up issues as well. But OKC will just keep trucking along. Like I said, I think OKC is going to get to the playoffs this year. I don't think Memphis is going to get to the playoffs as it looks right now. Two and eight. And they still got a couple more games to go before Ja Morant returns. But they also still have many other issues as well. No Steven Adams. No more Dylan Brooks because he's gone. Actually producing well for the Houston Rockets. So I expect OKC to get into the playoffs. But no love for Shea. But over here, we'll make sure Shea gets put on the spotlight. But anyways, tell me what you guys think.